Hello, my name is Dr. James Dwyer. I'm a surgeon at Spine Surgery Associates. My specialty is spine surgery. I've been in practice for 23 years. My medical training was at the New Jersey Medical School in Newark, New Jersey. Graduated in 1982, then went on to perform a surgical residency at the University Hospital. In 1985, I began my orthopedic residency training at Newark, New Jersey, and graduated in 1989 with an orthopedic certificate. After that, I went to an advanced training at the San Francisco Combined Spine Surgery Fellowship, which was at San Francisco Hospital, and it was also at Stanford University Medical Center. That was a year of training on the West Coast, followed up by another month or two of training at University of Hong Kong for further advanced training. After that, I entered practice. Uh, in practice, I've had privileges at Somerset Medical Center, Marstown Memorial Hospital, Hackettstown Community Hospital. I did serve a stint at University Hospital in Newark covering spine trauma and was involved with teaching the residents at that time as part of an academic appointment. At this time, I'm limited to private practice. I perform most of my surgeries inpatient at Somerset Medical Center. However, I perform a great deal of our surgeries as an outpatient at the Ambulatory Surgical Center of Somerset. Obviously, many people who come to see me for spine surgery will be apprehensive about going through a surgical procedure. Uh, sometimes that's because of misconceptions uh, that people may have about spine surgery, particularly from the past. Uh, one of the great things about our field right now is we have some amazing technology that allows us to do things more effectively in a less invasive fashion, so through a smaller incision with great visualization. When I began my practice 23 years ago, typical incision for a spinal fusion would be 6 inches to 12 inches long. We accomplish the same surgery now in an incision that's about an inch long. Um, with that, we can identify the pain generator and the spinal pathology, correct it in a minimally invasive fashion, and cause much less soft tissue disruption, and do it in a safe and effective manner, which is, of course, my responsibility to the patient. When I'm in a social situation and I see someone who is suffering from back pain or neck pain, um, they often ask me, what should they do? Uh, my response is, the first thing you should do is see a specialist who can make an accurate diagnosis. Find your pain generator. That may involve a physical examination, it may involve x-rays, in our specialty it often involves getting an MRI of the spine. Once that's done, uh, obviously as a spine surgeon, I'm usually the last person that people want to see. Um, options that are including physical therapy, epidural injections, pain management procedures. Obviously, if they're successful, you don't need to see me as a surgeon. But many people have been through those unsuccessfully, and that's where I come in, finding the diagnosis and finding the least invasive procedure that's going to fix that patient, restore them to the level of health that they want to be at. Uh, I think I'm a lucky guy. I think I've got the best job in the world. Uh, as a physician, and particularly as a spine surgeon, I get to fix people. People who are miserable with pain, who have partial paralysis, people who've tried everything they can do to get better but can't. Uh, I've had the training that allows me to fix those people, improve their quality of life, and it's a very direct and gratifying thing to get a hug from a patient or have somebody bake your cake who couldn't even stand to walk to the kitchen table six weeks ago.